Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This time we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I think this is probably a first for my channel. Now, this wasn't supposed to be this game. This was supposed to be Resident Evil 7 End of Zoe. However, after playing that uh, through twice and recording it twice, um, it hasn't come out properly. So that has now been shelved for now. Um, I do need to keep an ear out for the door because I'm finally upgrading my 1060 graphics card today. Uh, well, it won't be today. It will be arriving today, but it won't be going in my machine for a while because I need to get a new power supply. Um, but I'm going from a 1060 to an RTX 4080. So uh, yeah, li little bit, li little bit of an upgrade. Anyway, let's play Super Mario 3D World. I freaking love Mario games. Um, and I've never represented it on my channel at all. And this is probably one of my favorite Mario games. Um, I've been chipping away at it since it came out. I'm basically on the last world. I've got all the secrets and everything. I haven't played Bowser's Fury. So that's interesting. It was only the other day uh, that I realized that you push uh, left on the D-pad to select Bowser's Fury. I was trying to work out how we actually play that. Um, obviously when you're looking at a small little switch screen you can't really notice that there's arrows there and you can just switch between them so I assumed that you couldn't play that until you completed this but that's apparently not the case so let's go Super Mario 3D World I'm actually really looking forward to starting this game again because this game is fantastic and the switch version is better than the wii u version i think just because your characters i think they said they they up the speed of the characters by about 25 percent and my god going back and playing this on the wii u feels really freaking slow uh but we're gonna go for a new game uh of course we're gonna go now i've been playing a lot with peach because peach is pretty cool but i think you know there's only one real choice isn't there if we're going to start this let's play off you know only one real choice toad okay. i've never played as toad so let's give toad a go wow me doing nintendo what a time to be alive <laughs> Mario's trying hard to look away there. <laughs> hey, dude. Okay, so here we go. Uh, typical Mario story. Bowser's being a bit of a bell end as usual. And kidnapping all these fairies. So, we've got A to jump, and we can move around. But nobody uses Joy-Cons because they're shit. So, I'm using my... Um, Pro controller here. Uh, so all of the characters control differently. Like Toad, I don't know what Toad's special is. He seems to have like a. I don't know if he jumps higher. No, Luigi jumps higher. Peach can float, which my god, in the harder later stages, is so useful. Um, Mario is kind of like the all-rounder character, like kind of medium jump, medium speed, that sort of thing. 
Maybe Toad's a bit quicker. I don't know. Anywho, let's go. Oh, this is going to be so good going back through collecting everything again. Super Bell End Hill. Uh, Bell Hill. My bad. Now, one thing I will say about this game is it is gorgeous. It is absolutely freaking stunning. Yeah, I think Toad's a little bit quicker, which is interesting. Might be able to bust out some levels pretty quick. Now, being a Mario game, it people think Mario game is easy. I always say that Mario has a deceptive difficulty. Uh, it starts off stupidly easy, but man, by the time you get to the hidden worlds and stuff like that, it gets absolutely savage. Also, you can turn into a cat. You can turn into a cat. How fucking rad is that? Anyway, let's go collect up some coins. Coins aren't actually that important in this game. They only give you extra lives. But Cat Mario can climb. And it's a really cool ability. They actually use the abilities in this game in quite a clever, smart way, to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> every ability has its time in the sun. And uh, every character is needed as well. So you can hold two items at once and you can swap between them. Which is kind of like a throwback to Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. Now, Cat Mario also has a, like, swipey paw attack, which is awesome. You can also do a dive attack, which has fairly limited use. Uh, we can also run up walls until we get tired. So, Cat Mario is wicked. Probably one of my favorites. All right, let's go grab up the first star. Each stage has three stars and a hidden sticker. Uh, I'm not going to promise I'm going to remember where they all are, but I am going to promise we're going to get them all. We might have to repeat certain stages and whatnot as and when we need to. But the stages are fucking beautiful. This game is 60 FPS. And, you know, Nintendo knows how to make a game feel really good. Uh, it's a shame that um, Zelda kind of had its performance issues. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, have I mentioned my love for Zelda as well? Yeah, I've been a bit of a closet. Come here, rabbit. Gimme, 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 gimme. No point collecting uh, power-ups if you already have uh, two stacked up, but, you know. It's addictive, yeah. I played a hell of a lot of this two-player with my missus as well. And she, she didn't really play a lot of Mario. She never really played a lot of Mario, so that was fun. Oh, big mushroom. Let's go get high, man. Tall and high. Excellent. Yeah, we're just literally a complete menace with this shroom. And you can do so much chaotic damage, but I don't... Actually, I think we need this to get the final star, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think I'm mistaken. Oh no, we lost our cat power. No matter. Cat Cooper will give us a power. Now, Cat Cooper, to get the belt... Ah, oh, well, maybe it's just some of them then. Ah, there we go. Nice. So if you actually use your cat attack on these blocks, you actually get coins out of them. Ah, oh, saved. Which is nice. I actually prefer that method. So there is our sticker. Sweet. Yeah, I actually prefer... Um, Attacking the blocks to get the coins, to be honest. But, you know. Could grab the life. Now, where was the final star on this mission? Grab up these coins. Yeah, we've definitely... Ah, wait. I think we actually have to scale something back here. Well, the good news is we can go back. Right, let's have a little poke around down here. I want that star, damn it. So it's not through there. Ah, we can't actually go back. Right, this fairy, if we go up to this fairy, she'll give us an overview. She'll show us where the goal is. Thanks, fairy. You're one of the good ones. Right, I have a feeling we do actually need that mushroom to get the star, the third star. Yeah. Bugger. Oh well, we can always come back and grab that star at a later date. Not a problem, not a problem. Let's go. That is perplexing. 
Alright. Most of the stars are fairly easy to get. However, there are def... Oh, wait. Is it something silly like... Ah, wait. No, I remember. Aha! My brain. She has not failed me yet. Excellent. Yeah, most of the stars are okay. They're not too bad. But some of them do get a little bit devious later on. I still can't believe I'm recording a Mario game. I wonder how fisted by Nintendo I'm going to get. Which is why I've stayed away from recording um, Nintendo games in the past. But, you know, people seem to get away with it, so... And we have our first sticker. I have not actually got all of the stickers so far. There is lots of stickers to get. I think in my main file I have... Uh, like 250 odd stars. I've got most of the stickers, but not all of them. Anyway, where are we going next? Cooper Trooper Cave. Well, alrighty then. Let's go. Now, Coopers, obviously these guys, you can nick their shells. They get a little bit upset if you take his shell, which is fair enough, but you can give it back to him. <laughs> Don't think there's anything up here. Nope. Going underground. I'm not going to play the whole thing as Toad. Might swap over to Mario in a minute. Koopa. Boop. Get away from that. Oi. Dickhead. Mine. I have stolen your home and everything that belongs to you. I've also stolen your life. <laughs> right, come on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in smashing these blocks, to be honest. But, you know, the shell does become more... <laughs> more of a uh, menace uh, than anything else. Right, let's just get rid of that. Nothing good will come of a bouncing shell, let me tell you. But we can get a fire flower, so we can throw fireballs. Probably one of my favourite powers. Ah, that shell came back. That shell came back because it came back up the pipes. Shells can go up pipes, which is interesting. And so can enemies. Seriously. Thank you. Okay, Toad. Hang in there, Toad. Let's take out Mr. Cooper. Can be difficult to aim. Oh, hello. There's always a Goomba. Right. Yeah, it can be difficult to aim the flower power sometimes. Do they still call it flower power? I don't know. Nothing down this pipe. Also, the time limit for the levels does get rather tight in places. Oh, unlucky, bro. Like, literally squished his face. Right, I think there's a secret. Yeah, secret life there. Cool. I remember things about stuff. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's make it rain, baby. Lovely. Excelente. Let's get out of here. Right. Floating clouds. Whoop. Now, you can always tell if you've missed the star. Because, depending on which one we pick up. See, that's the first star on the star chart thing there. So, we know we haven't missed any thus far. You're in trouble when you pick up, say, the middle one and you haven't got the first one. And I have a cat. Look. Cats, man. Off... Now, generally, if you've got, like, um, two flaming uh, like objects or something that looks like this, a scene like this, there's going to be something in the middle. Oh, what a dickhead, Toad. This is why you're uh, not one of the main characters, Toad. This is why you're a backup character, because you're useless. Nobody likes you, Toad. Alright, let's go through one of these warp blocks. I think these are called warp blocks. So, oof. Things are going weird. Not used to controlling Toad. Oh, no. Okay. No, we flumped it. Okay, we're not going to be Toad. <laughs> we're not going to be Toad anymore. I don't like being Toad. Toad's weird. He's He, um, he moves really fast. Which, yeah, and bounces. He moves fast and bounces. Um, again, it, it's a case of getting used to the different characters. Personally, uh, I like Peach. 
because she floats. So you've got a little bit of wiggle room there. Like if you make a mistake, she's really good on the later levels for that reason. But that's cool. We can come back. Whoop. Yes, killed with his own house. <laughs> uh, never gets it. Right, well that's the sticker. What else have we got going on here? Ah, oh, we got a tower of Goombas. Oh, see, look, I'm trying to float down, but I keep forgetting. I can't float down. Okay, let's slowly murder these guys. Excellent. Now we have, as we can see, we've missed the middle star. No matter. I'm sure we can... Ah, oh, we can't go back. This is disappointing. Well, we're going to have to replay this mission anyway. Because... Ooh. Might need cat power to get up there, maybe. That's fine. Right, let's get out of here. I'm done with you, Toad. You've disappointed me for the last time. Alright, yep. Toad, Toad's... Toad's Toad. What can you say about him? He's a stupid mushroom. With a very irritating voice. We've got a coin. Some of these stickers are really cool as well. I do wish Nintendo would um, add in like an achievement system, a proper one. Maybe, uh, ah, right, we can get power-ups from there. Um, yeah, like a proper achievement system. Uh, but obviously, can't remember, can we? Yeah, trouble is, I don't think we can change characters without exiting, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't take too long to get back in. Um, yeah, like if we had a proper Nintendo achievement system, but just use stickers, you don't need to add like a point value to it because loads of Wii U games uh, had the sticker system. Uh, let's give Mario a go. Middle of the road, Mario. Remember, kids, standard load ain't for every road. Right, let's go and take this guy out. Get some power-ups first. Now, welcome to Toad House. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Yes, it will. So, big or little box. Doesn't matter. Completely random. Sometimes the big boy box is what you want. And sometimes it's a small box. It's, as far as I know anyway, it's completely random. Now, unfortunately, when you've used one of these houses, they disappear. They do return, but I can't remember. I think it's like when you have to physically end the game and leave and then load back in. I think the houses are back. Something like that. Now, charging chucks. These guys can be a bit of a nightmare, but we have firepower, so we're okay. It's all gravy. There we go. Nice and easy. There's a few little bonus stages like this. They do get progressively harder. Some of them are pretty savage, actually. And sometimes in certain levels, you have to play as a certain character because you'll have a button to push that will make one of the stars appear, but the button will have a picture of a character on it. Okay. Oh, I like that level. Yeah. Uh... Let's just go back and see if we can find that last star. I've got a feeling... It, oh, we can change characters here. I just saw the bee come up. Alright, I'm with you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, Mario does feel... a lot better to control than Toad. <laughs> Toad's weird, man. Get out of here, Koopa. Okay, so we need to find us up. Oh, that was bad. Because I... Got a feeling we need cat power. That was very low IQ of me. But that's standard. Right, well, grab the life and get out of dodge. Oh, you turd. Absolute turd muncher. Right, so this is where the first. Star Wars. Now, I do remember 
being a secret involved with this somewhere. I know there's this, obviously. Nope, nothing up there. Right, you can get wrecked. Up there. Hmm. Ah, wait, hang on. Hang on. Nope, that's just baby Goombas. We don't like baby Goombas. Now, if we look up here, it looks like there is an entry. Yeah, there's something up here, isn't there? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely up there. Definitely up there. All right, cool. That's fine. We'll come back there later and grab that. I don't usually like moving on without getting everything from the level, but let's keep this one going. If we find a cat power, which we should do here, Mount Beanpole, we can always come back. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I will run an experiment in a minute to see if... I know one of the levels, the, one, the star is like right behind us. Run an experiment and see if we can... Ah, it's a cat. Jump on him. Okay, he didn't give me his tail. That's unfortunate. Okay. And I've completely lost my train of thought, so all I can think about is my graphics card coming. Right. Bloody piranha plants. Ooh, nasty things. There we go. Yeah, I always like to 100% levels before I move on to the next ones. Kind of like... A weird mental deficiency. Oh, we need cat power to get this star as well. Memory serves. Yeah, we do. Because we need to climb up. Look at that. Oh, no! No! Mario can do it without having cat power. Interesting. But we have already missed a star. Just curious. <laughs> we already missed the star. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Cat power. Ask and you shall receive. That'll do. That'll do nicely. What's up here? Aha! <laughs> I do remember um, a couple of the stars being pretty close to where we start. Good to know. Right, let's just scale Mount Beanpole. And get the hell out of here. Right, what have we got? Always check these as well, because, you know, sometimes there's stuff in them. Mostly it's just coins though, and nobody really cares about coins. Oof, close. Ah, uh, uh, probably didn't win that. But, it's fine. Now, what have we got here? Ooh, look at that, a little hidden cloud. Where does the hidden cloud lie? Ah, I see. We need cat power for this. So, you can hear the countdown timer. Whoop. Secret cloud will launch us to a secret part of the level. Hey, we got a star. <laughs> and this, we got failure. I don't know if we can go back up. Again, I'm... I'm too busy. Oh, oh, we can't go back up. We're going to have to come back to this level. Oh, I'm lucky. Yep. Still trying to rely on the fact that uh, Peach can float, but we can't float because we're not Peach. Alright, let's get rid of you. Uh, yeah, sure. We don't need that. Also, if you're Cat Mario, he will always go to the top and get maximum points on the... Is that because I didn't push up? Okay, usually with Cat Mario, he always runs to the top. I guess I'm just talking out my ass. And we got a Cat Goomba. How very cute. What time are we on? We're on 24 minutes. So if we're on 24 minutes, let's go clear up these last two missions. Hey, Mario. I like the way it shows you which character you completed. Have you tried connecting and playing with friends? Yes, I have. Thank you. 
I mean, honestly, using Nintendo Switch Online, ugh, that's ghastly. It's a really bad service. Right, you're dead. I'm trying to think if we've actually... I've played a few things online, this never really works very well. And then you've got these, like, silly friend code things, and... Ah, oh, such an awful system. But it's okay. One day, Nintendo will arrive at uh, 2005. One day. See, I don't even mind um, that the consoles themselves are, you know, behind in hardware. Especially if they're going to continue this um, Switch format, which I really hope they do. But it'd be nice if they could get their online service, you know, at least catch up to the last decade. That would be nice. Okay. Nah, we don't need that. We don't need it. Get out of here. I guess we're just gonna grab... Do we want firepower? I mean, I guess it's useful to have two different powers. I suppose. Alright, you're dead. Now, let's... Ha oh! <laughs> See ya, Goomba. Let's try cat power. Yes! Knew it. What's this way? I don't know if I've ever gone back. Ah, right. Oh, right. So you don't need cat power. You just can have cat power. Got ya. That makes sense. We have a golden tube. And what's down the golden pipe? Golden coins, I guess. Now these things can run around like a madman and collect loads and loads of coins. I say loads and loads of coins. Usually it's more than that. Usually these go on for ages. Still, hopefully we can get some lives out of it. Now. So where's that golden pipe lead? Oh, it leads here. So we're still none the wiser on that. Still none the wiser. On where that star is. Oh, right. We just didn't quite get that one. I thought we collected it. Man, I am a dumbass. Come on, Mario. You could have told me that much, at least. Yeah, I don't know if we leave the level now, if we actually collect the stars. I'm pretty sure we've got to actually finish the mission properly. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Might need to do some research. Come on. Oh, God damn it. Good enough. Right, let's get these guys out of here. Ah, oh, shit. See, it's so dangerous. So dangerous. I'm trying to get there. Trying to use that <laughs> glide ability. Don't do it. Okay. Now we should be able to get the last one as well. The last star in the last mission. Meow. I still got to finish Super Mario Sunshine, actually. That was my favourite one. That was like the first Mario game that really got me into Mario. And I appreciate that isn't actually a very popular Mario game. And I kind of get it. I kind of understand why that's not a very super popular Mario game. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's Mario. It's popular, but it's not super popular. Uh, but I think it's just because it was the first one that I played and I've got so much nostalgia for it. There's just something about it. I mean, personally, I thought the flood mechanics were quite fun. I will say with um, Sunshine, Sunshine is really hard. I don't think anybody can deny that. And that's probably why I've never actually finished it. Just because it does get so difficult. But does look 
fantastic on the Switch. Alright, this is nice. Whoop! There we go. Job done. Alright, let's get out of here. Smell you later. Whoop! <laughs> Just catch him. Oh, do we want... Oh, we've already got two bells anyway. It's fine. We'll have another one. Right, done and done. And with that, guys, I'm probably going to leave it here. Because that's half an hour of Mario goodness. I think we'll play as Luigi in the next part. Get a feel for how Luigi handles. Oh, we've got a choice. We've got two different levels here. And we've got some slot machines opening up. There we go. Even Nintendo has gambling mechanics. But they're innocent gambling mechanics, so it's okay. So, hit the blocks and make the pitches line up. You could win 777 seven, seven coins. I've never done this, by the way. Uh, I'm kind of crap at this. Oh. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I don't even think I've ever got 300 before. That's not bad. Three lives. We'll take them. Can't go wrong with a three up. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.